Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Henrietta. This is, this is not your first slush, but um, tell us first, what is the Startup Foundation and what, what does that actually mean, what you do in, in Finland and for the foundation? Yeah, Startup Foundation is actually, it's behind slush. It's behind the Startup Shauna operations. It's behind the uh, Startup Life where we are sending people over. The main thing for the uh, foundation is to uh, kind of a nurture the culture of the startups, uh, uh, be actively involved in the ecosystem, make the ecosystem work better, and also be the um, be the be the uh, 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 on the ground level on building the right attitude and being kind of a promoting the early stage companies. How would you say, I mean, in the last three years, all these organizations around this foundation, uh, Slosh and Startup Sound and everything, they have drastically changed the entrepreneurship climate here, right? Well, thank you for saying that. We, we've been working on that very heavily. And uh, I, actually, the foundation is now a year and a half old. And uh, we've been doing a lot of work there. Uh, we've been basing the work on the Alta Entrepreneurship Society and on the, on the work that has been kind of the uh, basis were ground already before before we we started, but uh, I think that we've been able to uh, kind of uh, uh, put together the good mix of the old people. Well, I don't want to call myself old, but uh, older people that uh, have been uh, have been making it once or twice already, and then uh, the people from the uh, from the uh, student student side who are super eager, uh, the brightest talent on this side. And I think that, that that's something that is really unique here. How hard was it to establish the funding grounds for this? Um, was the climate uh, well? I can remember a few years ago it was not at all easy when you're pitching a company and they don't know what a startup is. Is that Has that also changed? Uh, you, you mean funding for the foundation or for the... Well, it's like um, um, there are a few few places here like the, uh, the Confederation of Finnish Technology Industries that uh, really has seen the, uh, the light that they need something needs to change here but uh, many of the uh, many of the uh, entities that uh, should be active here I think that they are just about now waking up and I think that this has been the, the great time for us here now today and tomorrow to promote what we are actually doing yeah uh, let me ask you a few questions about startup sauna then what is it that made you guys go away from Helsinki and Finland and this area and then go all the way to, I don't know, Yekaterinburg or somewhere like way in Siberia to go and look for these startups? What's like the motivation behind that? Well, I think that the whole thing is, is that this is not the Helsinki phenomena. It's not Finland. It's not Nordic. It's not Baltics only. Everything that we do, uh, the idea is that uh, we are in the uh, uh, 250 million uh, plus people, economic area where there is Nordic, Baltics, Northern Europe, and Russia, and uh, if we are looking at startups, that's the that's the area what we need to cover, and I think that today here this is a a, a great uh, we we can really show here that it works. Over the half of the companies here are from abroad. Uh, there is a, a lot of companies from Russia. This is the biggest Swedish entrepreneurship event ever. Yeah. So we are kind of uh, make, making the uh, uh, ma making it really happen on the on the scale that we we see that is relevant. Something in Helsinki is not relevant, but we want to be the hub around here and spread the good news. As a, as a head coach, what are the main qualities you look in a team or in a startup, or what gives you that feeling that these guys could be something? Well, we have the uh, four ba four basic principles. First of all, that uh, uh, if the idea is unique, we don't have, want to have any copycats. Uh, if, the, if we can see that the company could be scaling to 100 million euros. Uh, the third one is that uh, we have the feeling that there is a good team that can learn. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, it has to be something where we see that there is unique talent. That is really a, a something that uh, you, you can't characterize that really well, but whilst, once you have been going through 2,000 companies, you kind of start to see from the people that what's happening. And then the fourth thing is that, that we can help. Because if you're looking, for example, many of the med tech companies uh, on the medical side, you might be doing the R&D for 7 to 15 years, and you are spending tens of millions of dollars of money with our startup sauna concept. 
of having a very intense five week training, we can't do that much. So we don't want to have that kind of companies. You also in Startup Sauna, you have very, very acknowledged coaches and, and uh, people who help a lot, including yourself. What motivates you guys to do this kind of benevolence or, or this kind of work uh, in this grassroots sector? <laughs> Well, I think that that's, that's kind of the, one of the strangest things here because it's a pro bono work. There is a lot of work and uh, people are putting uh, long hours into, into doing it. And uh, looking at the uh, uh, kind of the basis, I think that the kind of a ground thing for the, uh, for the uh, uh, seasoned guys is that uh, they are with the giving back mentality. Because every one of us remembers that when we go 20 years back, there was absolutely nothing. Like whom to call? Hmm, I don't know. That uh, now we, we are creating an ecosystem where there is people that really know how it's done, and uh, uh, we can kind of uh, help help the younger people to go forward. So I think that 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 kind of a giving back mentality is the basis for it. Do you think that there's uh, Finnish executives or somebody else who is not doing that yet would have also something to give to this climate? Sorry. Uh, do you think that there's Finnish maybe CEOs or, or other people that are that could give more to this environment? Yeah, I, I think that there is a, a lot of people that we have already hundred people at the moment in in the team. Uh, there there is a lot of people that can be doing much more, and also the uh, kind of when we are going from the initial startup phase into the scaling of the companies, and on on the uh, uh, then there is a lot of skills also on the bigger CEOs who really know how to scale different businesses, and I think that that's also something which I hope that we can do much more in the coming years. So as the last question, uh, what's one thing you're really excited about at Slash or looking forward to? It's the attitude, because this is all about attitude. Thank you very much, Ilka Kivimäki. Please join me in thanking him. Thank you.